we're back and uh, today I'm going to be doing um, some Arkham Horror. For those who don't know, it's a um, card game by Fantasy Flight. Pretty good, pretty good, I enjoy it. We're going to be using a uh, Daryl Scavenging Test Zero deck. These are my opening hands, I haven't done mulligans yet. And we'll be doing a Nathaniel Cho Down the Rabbit Hole deck. So I took uh, In the Thick of It. So I could get Versatile, which I spent the points, uh, the other point on in the thick of it on a sweeping kick. And then um, I got down the rabbit hole as the extra card option. Because we're going to be upgrading a lot of cards from level 1s to level 2s to level 3s, etc. Um, we're going to be doing Dunwich Horror. I've already shuffled and chosen between the two Warren Library or Warren Observatory. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into it. I've, I'll give you a quick rundown of what we're doing. Um, I've read the prologue heaps of times. Essentially this old man, Henry, he wants you to find his friends. They miss him. Hasn't seen him. He's worried. So um, I chose to look for Professor Warren Rice, who was last seen here at the university um, usually usually people do house always wins first it's um uh, later on when you whichever one you do first the second one's slightly harder because you essentially skip an agenda but um house always wins has a lot of uh, a lot of stuff all right cat thanks for that um a lot of stuff to kill, and um, yeah, I don't know. I just want to. I would just want to try extracurricular first. Let's see how we go. Um, I'll be resolving mulligans now. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna keep the scavenging, the burning, the wing, and it can go back. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the shed light. I think. Uh, no, you know what? We won't. We don't have anything to lower. I'll keep these three. We'll do a. This is our weakness. Can't start in our opening hand. Uh, if I fail, take a horror. Two actions to get rid of it. <laughs> Funnily enough, here's his signature. Still can't have that in our opening hand. Okay, so that's what we get. These get shuffled back in. Now I'll do the same for Cho. We're going to keep a boxing glove. We'll probably keep this safeguard. I'll probably ditch the rest, to be honest. get a counter punch an overpower and then an on the hunt so yeah pretty good we start here at the quad and then I'll uh, uh, explain what we're gonna we're gonna do so quiet halls we've arrived at the university campus in search of rice classes are over it's mysterious and silent uh, seven doom till it ticks over Warren Rice was last seen by one of Armitage's students in the humanities. Uh, we need six clues to tick across this act. So um, let's let's do it. Uh, Daryl has a short supply, so I'll mill the top ten cards of my deck. Um, well, it was nice to see... <laughs> it's nice to see a key ring in there and a wing in it. Wing in it's pretty good in the bin. There's a coat we can get back. Not the best, but it could be worse, I suppose. Um, I think we're just going to have um, Cho, Cho first. He'll pay two for safeguard, three for his boxing gloves, and honestly, I think we'll just get him money. We're going to play this scavenging. We'll also... We might play this hypothesis next turn. I might just start getting into... No. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll do We'll do the hypothesis now. And then we'll move. We'll move into um, a location. Um, the observatory. 
Cho is gonna safeguard in. So safeguard lets me uh, fo follow as a reaction. He'll follow him in. Uh, that's it. Pretty boring round, to be honest. Upkeep. Um, also, Daryl's the lead investigator. And now it's time for uh, bad cards. Okay, Peril. Attached to our agenda. Um, hmm. This is really annoying. All, all damage and horror is direct. Not that I've got any allies out, but uh, Cho certainly can. I feel like we'll advance this this before. So that goes there. Ah. Location with the most clues. That's this location. So it'll spawn on Cho. I, he likes that a lot. I think... Cho's not doing much. I think we'll just uh, kill this guy. Play his brother. Pass turn. Oh. Also, uh, Cho started with two physical trauma from in the thick of it. That should already be marked on him. Uh, yeah. Pretty unintuitive, but I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do a move action with Cho to the humanities building. Which is going to cause this guy to hit me with an attack of opportunity. And I'm just going to counter punch it. So it's fast after an enemy attacks you. Uh, he's just going to hit me. And I'll counter punch him. Just so we can hit him with one shot. And then he becomes, you know, slightly more valuable. We'd, I don't like taking a horror, but it's fine. Uh, we're at 6 to 2. I also better put the right tokens in the bag. Uh, we got a zero. So Cho's ability is that uh, when I deal damage to an enemy by an event or a fight on an event, which is this, I can deal an additional damage. So he'll take two damage, die. Uh, we're gonna trigger boxing gloves. Search the top six cards for a spirit event. Uh, you know what, let's get a, yeah, let's just get this, get over here. It's pretty good, spirit, it basically pulls him in. Um, we're going to play his brother for his second action. He's going to heal the three damage. Oh, that's not his brother. Oh, that's his brother. Uh, and I think we'll just uh, get a resource. So, four shroud here. After you discover one more clues, discard three cards from the top for each clue. Um, my hypothesis, I uh, will choose succeed a test by three or more. And. Uh, Let's commit Eureka and Resourceful to this. Sure. Puts me at seven. I don't think we're going to get the hypothesis, but I want to get stuff back from the bin. So seven to four. Got another zero. <laughs> Incidentally, that does beat it by three. So we'll put an evidence on this. Uh, I'll resolve the Eureka. I also get to scavenge. Succeeded by two or more. I'm going to scavenge back. Uh, this old key ring. Nope. Don't go there. Uh, we're going to resourceful back. Let's resourceful back Granny Orn. She's pretty cool. And then we'll Eureka. Look at the top three. Wow. 
Okay, uh, we'll take this other old key then. We get a clue. Gonna play this old key ring for my second action. Uh, and we'll investigate. We have to mill the top three as well. So investigate, location gets minus two shroud. If I succeed, I remove a key ring. So we're at uh, five to two. Puts us at three. We get a clue, melt the top three, Oops. and remove a key. So that's done. Um, I'm going to move down here with Cho, and that will be my turn. Upkeep. Put a Doom on the agenda. And then bad cards. Let's see what it's got for us. A secret door attached to my location. We can't leave. Test will make let us leave. And then Cho gets. Yep, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> ah, he's living up to his name, killing monsters. Um, I think. We're gonna burn the midnight oil. Do an investigate. We'll just do a basic one, five to three. I just want the money more than anything so I can play granny. Uh, get a clue. Gonna play granny as our second action. also get to scavenge something. I also get to scavenge something, which I think is the only thing I've got left is this leather coat. So Okay. Um Yeah, we'll just we'll just go again. Uh will we? Yeah, we're going to be here for a while. I can do the secret door next turn. Uh, so, last action, I'll investigate with the key ring. Uh, yep, that's good. This is gone. Key ring gets discarded. Ah, I also should have taken a photo with my camera. I will say I did that, because I was easily going to go first. So this is uh, after an enemy enters play. I can exhaust it to place a resource from on that enemy or treachery. Uh, and then after I discover any number of clues, I move it to the codec. Now everyone, yeah, everyone can still yell at me in the comments that I missed that. Oopsies. Uh, he's done. Let's uh, let's kill this thrall. So um, I think we'll just fight it twice, five to two. Do you know what? We won't. We we won't. Kill deal of damage to him and his brother. Ah, and his brother. Ah, uh, we'll fight it. I'll overpower it this time. Yep. Takes the damage. Ah. Uh, you know what? That first one did hit. So I got boxing gloves, which gives me plus one while fighting. So we should be at six. Then the four. Yeah, the four would have killed it. Anyway. Anyway. My bad. Draw a card because it's dead. Boxing glove. The top six. While oh, my dog barks. Uh, what do we do? We'll take one-two punch. One-two punch is sweet. Um, so I punched twice. Um, my last action. Oh, I don't think he can do this. Well, it's a willpower test or a book test. 
Oh, he definitely does not do those. You know what? Best best action in the game. Resource. We're going to wait for my dog to calm down. <laughs> uh, we'll go upkeep. Mythos. Bad card. So, we got the visions of futures past, so we have to test brain. If each point we fail by, discard the top card of our deck. Uh, we're just going to do the test. A minus one, if I fail, discard the top three cards of my deck. So, uh, we fail by four here, so we're going to mill the top seven. Interesting. That's my entire deck. Uh, and then Cho's turn. He got eager for death. So we test brain. One for each damage on us. He's at three. We'll courage it just in case. We don't want to take horror. Uh, there's only three cards. So that's just a minus one. We pass. Okay, I think. So we just need two more clues and then get rid of this secret door. Uh, Daryl's going to play this old key ring. Man, I really want to play this Hawkeye too, but I, we'll get the key ring out. Uh, we're just going to do the test. Let's make sure we get it. Uh, we're gonna say pass by three or more. We'll, we'll, we'll use we'll use old key ring. Okay, <laughs> puts us to one. Uh, but the shroud here is one as well. I'm not gonna use granny for this. There's no point. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it again. So, this key ring's discarded. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to scavenge back the other key ring that's in there. So, I'm just going to put this one back in my hand. We hypothesis. We pass by three or more. We get this clue. Uh, so, that was all of my actions. Key ring, investigate, investigate. Uh, we're stuck in this uh, hellhole for at least one more turn. Uh, we'll try and do that head test if we can. Has Daryl got anything? Sure. Daryl can give him this. And I'll give myself a get over here. Uh, we'll do the test at five versus uh, three. Oh, actually... We can use his ability. So during a skill test at location, he can spend an evidence from an asset to reduce the test. He'll spend one from Hypothesis to lower the test. And we'll just go up by... We'll be at four versus one. Okay. Get out of here, secret door. Get... Um... I think we may just uh, on the hunt to make sure we get an enemy. But uh, I think I'll move up here with Cho for his second action and get a get a resource. Do upkeep. I have to take a horror because his deck shuffled. Put a doom. Let's see the bad card. It's a whippoorwill. They're slightly annoying. Hunter retire. Okay, security guard. 
Oh, that is something I should have checked. I think a security guard's supposed to start here. Oh, I hope not. Oh, yeah, it's only if we completed return to house always wins. Oh, thank, thank gosh. <laughs> uh, also, uh, thankfully we did pass that test earlier because I forgot damage is all direct, so Cho couldn't have taken any anyway, his brother. All right, so he's got a security guard. Yeah, I mean, he'll just have to deal with that. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna progress this now, I think, but, like, we'll progress this now at the start of turn, um, it says, so we're unable to find Professor Rice, but one of his students spoke with, mentioned a strange man, Entering his office. Unfortunately, the door's locked. We need to find Jazz. So Jazz is the janitor. Uh, he'll be shuffled in this encounter deck, and we'll need to uh, get him. So all of these go back in with Jazz. Do a little shuffle. And uh, here we can spend a clue to discard the top five cards of the deck. And um, the idea is to try and hit Jazz, find him, and then when we control Jazz, we'll uh, advance this. I think we'll have Chove go first. So he is going to spend two. You know what? I'll... I'll, I'll just spend the two on one two punch. We'll one two punch this security guard first. Alright, six because we're fighting versus two. Guess we won't. Guess we won't. Uh, he's going to hit us for one. So, uh, oof, I didn't succeed, so that, that sucks. Uh, we'll monster hunt him for our second action then. We're still at six versus two. Yep. That's a minus three, that puts us at three versus two. Uh, so this has got plus one damage anyway. So we've got normal damage, the plus one damage, then we'll use this ability to finish him off. Exhaust boxing gloves. Search the top six. Uh, I could get glory. I think I'm just going to get clean them out. I think we just want as much of the uh, fight events in our hand as possible. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is uh, do this get over here, which I can choose a non-elite enemy at my location or a connecting location. So I'm going to choose this Whipper Will. He'll move here. We engage it, and then we fight it. Um, the Whippoorwill is going to give us minus one to our stats, so we'll be fighting at five versus two. Uh, and it's dead. Alright, that's uh, Cho done. Daryl, I think, is just going to get some clues. So, this one we're looking for, Rice, and he's in his uh, office. So, we're going to head towards the admin building. So, we'll go one, two. Cho's going to safeguard in. So, um, this says, after it is revealed, put the set-aside facility officers in play. Now, that is one thing that happens. Um, we need to use the faculty. Knight is still young. So, faculty officers. There's two of these. As you can see, the knight is still young. Or the hour is late. Okay. 
and at the end of our turn, if we're in here, we'll discard the top card of our deck. So Cho's turn already ended, so I don't think he has to do it, but Daryl will. Uh, we will key ring for our first action. Uh, we're going to also choose to, we're always going to choose to try and pass by three or more. Um, geez. So yeah, we'll use the key ring. We'll use the key ring uh, to go five to five to two. Sure. We'll throw this other scavenging at it just for the first test. So we'll be at six versus two. Yep. Uh, so that puts us six five. So that puts us at four versus two. So we get a clue. One of these goes. We pass by two or more. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah. Also, we should have three brain from Granny Orton. Oh, we'll do it again. Same thing. Old key ring. We'll just go five to two. Minus one. We didn't fail. And I think we'll spend next turn trying to um, find Jazz Mulligan. Now, I think the way this works with Old Key Ring is we succeed, we remove a key, then we can reaction this because we succeeded by two, we can get it back, I believe. Anyway, we're done. Let's go to upkeep. Uh, sorry, that card should have been in the bin from the admin building effect, which is a shame. Encounter card. Now this is a bad one. So it's got Surge, so we'll be drawing another card. So it goes in my play area. And when our deck runs out of cards, we take 10 damage. Now, that's pretty tough. Thankfully, we shuffled our deck earlier. Otherwise, it could have been rough. Uh, I tell you what, we'll Kodak that. Uh, we've got this thing again. Um, what do I think I'm going to do? I think this will happen before we get Jazz. Peril. So we can choose two of the following actions. Investigate, fight, evade, move, or play. For the remainder, we can't. Let's, let's not fight or evade. Sure. We don't like fighting or evading. All right. Um... I'm going to do the Jazz Mulligan action, so I'm going to spend one of my clues to discard the top five. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll do it again. One, two, three, four, Five. Wow, he's really down. <laughs> he's really down there. Um, we need some more clues. We'll just go to the student union, I think. So he'll move. Cho will follow him with safeguard. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. I think Cho's just going to draw a card. Get a resource. Probably get another resource. <laughs> He's not going to be doing much until there's enemies. Um, that's upkeep. Do. And we'll draw the bad card. 
Hmm. Uh, I think we'll be drawing the top two cards of the encounter deck. Putting a Doom on is always, always bad. So we got test two, increase this for each. Uh, so we'll be running at, I'll do four versus two. Uh, yep, we do it. We'll get to, we get to do this as well. We'll do Eureka. We'll get this luck. You know what, it's lucky. Man, flashlight is pretty good. No, we've got two. We've got two keychains. Let's get this lucky. And then another bad card for our boy. It's a Wizard of Yog Sothoth. It's gonna spawn on me. That's okay. Oh, and Cho also has one of these now. That's pretty rough. It's pretty much puts a time limit on it. Each card, for each card in hand, is that if there's a copy in our discard pile, we take a horror. Okay, so we definitely have a bunch. Let's have a look. Have we got a counter punch in hand? We do not. Have we got an overpower? We do. No courage. We have a one-two punch as well. We don't have a get over here. We don't have a, so we've got two in our hand and I believe this is still here. So he has to take two direct horror. Pretty rough. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this thing, this thing's a killer. All right, well, Cho's gonna go first. He's gonna try and kill this wizard, I think. So, uh, we'll engage him for our first action. Um, what's his fight? His fight's four, hey? Let's, ooh, just one, two punch him. Let's one, two punch him. So we get plus one for this first attack. And then one from Boxing Gloves puts us on seven. I think I'm just gonna overpower this first one as well, just to be safe. Okay. So it deals a damage to the enemy. And then we get to fight again with plus two. So our base is five, we get plus one from here, and then plus two from here. We also draw a card from our overpower, which we'll do. Uh, let's go, eight to four. <laughs> oh man, Joe's getting wrecked with these uh, auto fails. All right, well, um, I guess we'll just clean them out for the last action. We'll slap dare into it. So we're on nine. Yep, we'll use the ability to deal an extra damage to him. We draw a card. We're gonna box in gloves. So this is victory. We'll discard him and then slap him in the victory display. Uh, look at the top six cards for a spirit event. We might just get the counter punch. All right, that's us. Um, Daryl's gonna move down here. Cho's gonna follow with safeguard. So we got two clues here. Put the dormitories in play. We're going to key ring. We're going to just investigate. We'll try and pass by three or more with our hypothesis. So 
are on five, we're on four. Uh, yep, that's on one. We pass by three or more. So we get the clue. This is gone. We get this evidence on our and our Kodak, and we get one on empirical hypothesis. Have we got anything to scavenge? I don't think we do. We don't really. What I should have done, what I should have done actually, is use that wing in it, but that's fine. That would have saved me an extra action. Um, we'll old key ring again. Try and get this last clue, then we'll spend to try and get Jazz next turn. So, uh, run one, we get the clue, it puts us on one versus one. Old key ring's dead, and I believe we get to scavenge. I'm, I'm hoping that's the way it works. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is successful. We remove a key, it goes, and we can reaction that. Um, upkeep. But tell me if I'm wrong, please. This ticks across, so this is going to go away. Or we'll reset this. So, university is dead silent. Shadows coil out around our feet. Someone or something is stalking us. So each investigator with five or more cards in their discard pile. So, got three. He's got ten. Takes a horror with people with 10. Uh, take two. So, thankfully, that thing's gone because uh, Joe was about to get smashed. Now his brother can take it. That's what he's there for. Uh, if we've completed House Always Wins, we have not. So, we'll go straight here. So, each investigator's maximum hand size is reduced by three while checking his or her hand size during. So that's already happened. That's like the very last thing of the player phase. We'll get our bad cards. Eager for death. So two. Yeah, we'll just go four, four versus two. Uh, minus one. We don't have 10 or more cards in our discard pile. And then Cho's card is Jazz Mulligan. Okay, so that's interesting. So his rev revelation is to put him into play at our location. Uh, while he's not controlled by anyone, test three, take control of him, and that's uh, for this agenda, for this act. So um, Daryl's going to take it. He's going to do it. We'll do it immediately. We're going to... Use his ability to lower the test. We'll uh, increase it by two and we'll parlay him at, uh, what is it, three? So seven to one. Yeah, we do it. We draw a card from our perception. We have Jazz. He goes over here and we'll uh, advance the act. We convince Jazz something strange is going on. Rice is in danger. He doesn't trust us, but he'll come with us because he ain't giving us his keys. Uh, we hear a crash from the science building. Help. Someone says there's an animal. It's heading towards the dorms. We've got to do something. I mean, we don't. Um, the, so the alchemy labs is not in play. We'll grab the alchemy labs. We'll also grab this experiment because he's going to go there too. Uh, sometimes you get this thing, but we don't because it hasn't been enough time. So this guy will be here. He's just going to sit here for a bit. But once this ticks over, we'll little little sneak peek. He'll start he'll start doing things. So this now is we have to find and complete an objective on another encounter card. So at the moment. The only objective on an encounter card is the one that's on this experiment. If we, if he's defeated, we advance to Agenda 3B. Now, 
he has plus three investigator health, so that means he's got another six health. So he's got like 13 health. It's pretty rough. Cho. <laughs> Cho could probably kill him. But I'm slightly worried because Cho's been getting the auto fails a lot. And to be honest, I want to go and rescue Professor Rice. I think that's what I want to do. I think that seems fine. We've got like one, two victory points at the moment. We could have more, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway. Uh, we could. Yeah, no, we'll do it. So Daryl will move. Cho's going to follow him with safeguard. Daryl's going to move into the office. And then he's going to move here. And that's his turn. That, Daryl's done. What a great turn. So after faculty officers is revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a humanoid and spawn it there. So we can search for, there's another one of these guys. It's human, oh, it's a monster. That's a shame. Oh, we've got a Thrall. Thrall will do. Thrall's here on Daryl. But that's what Cho's for. Cho's gonna go move. Ah, uh, gotta get over here, right? I do. He'll move there. He'll get over here. He'll pull this guy to him, and then he'll punch him right in the face. All right, six versus two because of boxing gloves. He kills him dead. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. I'll use his. I'll use his ability. What am I talking about? I know how to play this game. I own all the cards. Hmm. You know what? Evidence. Uh, we'll get this glory. And then, you know what? We did defeat an enemy. So we might as well play it. And draw two more cards. Because why not? You never have enough cards in your hand. Um, so he moved, he fought, he'll move in. How much do I think I can kill that? <laughs> I'm just thinking. Uh, if we had one, if we had both one-two punches, I would go and kill this, kill this experiment. Anyway, we're done. Upkeep. So, this is where we're going to have to ditch some cards. Upkeep. And we're going to have to ditch some cards because our hand size is reduced by three. So maximum hand size is eight. So we're going to have to ditch to five, but that's okay. We'll go coat. Uh, we'll ditch one of the key rings. And... We'll ditch this scrounge. We haven't used it yet. Um, we're going to ditch both of these prepared for the worst because we got our boxy gloves already. We'll ditch the evidence. And probably... No. Man, I, I might on the hunt that last monster that's in there. Get some uh, VP. We'll do, we'll do the dodge. <coughs> And then um, Mythos phase, so he'll fast play on his turn, so Daryl will go first. Draw his, then we're going to fast play, find a monster. Unless Daryl draws a monster, he does not. It is cards in discard pile. Let's have a look. So we've got a perception, so that's going to happen. There's no deduction in there. Uh, there's no lucky. There is a key ring in there because we just put a key. Oh no, yeah, we just put a key ring in there. And there's no resourcefulness. So we take two. Granny can take it. And then. 
we'll fast action this on the hunt. Search the top nine for an enemy. Uh, spawn it engaged with us instead of its normal location. Yeah, we'll take this vassal of a lurker. And it'll spawn here. Okie dokie. So, we've got four clues here. So if we spend four clues, we get resolution one. Ah, that's what we're going to aim for. So let's do it. Let's try it. Uh, let's let Cho go first so we can kill this. He's going to clean him out. Uh, he's going to do a daring on it. We get plus three from that. And now one from the boxing gloves. We're at nine versus three. So it's at five versus three. So we'll hit him for a damage. We'll hit him for two damage. We'll use the ability on this one. Uh, and then daring. We get to draw a card after this test ends. Uh, and then we're just going to hit him normally. We're at six. Unexpected courage. While my dog barks. <laughs> we're at eight to three. So, minus one, yep, we'll, we'll punch him. And then uh, we'll do it one more time at six. Six to three, Daryl's gonna use one of his evidence to make it easier. And he's dead. Teamwork, teamwork. He can go in the victories play. And then it's uh, Daryl's turn. We are, in fact, going to use this wing in it from the bin. So we pay one to play it from the discard pile. So we investigate. Our location gets minus one shroud. If we played it from our discard pile, which we did, we get an additional clue. This gets shuffled back in our deck. So the shroud at the moment is one. We are five, uh, and we're going to deduction as well. So six versus one. It's minus three, so we're at three versus one. So we get our normal clue, our extra clue from deduction, and our extra clue from winging it. Um, and then our second action, we'll just uh, do a perception one. So right, seven versus one, uh, two, seven versus two. There's a minus three. It is not, it's a minus one. We get another clue. And uh, yeah. We can spend two clues, uh, four clues, to do this. Now, <laughs> call me greedy, but I almost want to go to the dormitories. So, there is a victory display. There is a victory under here. That would be awfully greedy, wouldn't it? Awfully greedy. Man, how much have we got left on this? We've got 18 cards, 13 cards. It's a bunch of cards that mill our decks. One, two, three, four. That's a fifth victory. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Let's, uh, let's spend our four clues. Spend our four clues, and we'll uh, do this. That's resolution one. So, this is uh, what's on the back of that. Anyway, resolution one, we find Professor Rice. He's gagged in his office. He tells us some strange men and women 
have been want, following him around the campus. They cornered him, tied him up. Uh, that he doesn't know why. We tell him Armitage sent us, and he's pretty relieved about that because Nathaniel Cho showed up. Uh, Dr. Morgan's probably in danger, and uh, yeah, we're going to find him. Let's get the hell out of here. As we leave, we hear screaming from the northern end of the campus. An ambulance passes by, and we fear the worst. Hours later, we've learnt that a rabid dog of some sort found its way into the dormitories, and it attacked, and... Uh, it mauled some students, but we don't talk about that. Let's just consider it a win that we actually got Professor Warren Rice. So we'll put in record that we rescued Warren Rice. We rescued. That's not how you spell rescued. We rescued Warren Rice. Pretty good. So someone can have him. Let's have a look at him. I believe he gives a, a book. No, no, he's the one that gives... No, it's Armitage. What a div. Get out of here, Henry. Uh, yeah, so this is Rice. He gives a book. So he'll probably go in Daryl. After we discover the remain, last remaining clue, we can exhaust him to draw a card. That is pretty good. Daryl can have him. Get in, Daryl. Okay. In our campaign... We record that the we failed to save the students. We'll add a tablet token to the bag, and then we earn that four victory that I said we got. I forgot to write Daryl. There's Daryl. He got Warren Rice. Um, okay, and we failed. Fail to save the students. So we're going to get one of these. Make a copy. And we'll slap it in the bag. Here we go. And that's it for this. Um, next time I will be doing The House Always Wins. We'll be gambling. We'll probably not be getting any clues because the bag sucks. And I hope to see you next time. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and uh, comment below. Thanks for joining me.